The Maserati MC20 was originally supposed to be an Alfa Romeo supercar. We also learned that the 33 straight ale was more than just a reskinned MC20. Some will remember the first teaser image for the Maserati MC20 published in early 2020 depicting a heavily modified for C test mule. There's a very good reason for that as the Medina supercar was originally supposed to wear an Alfa Romeo badge. In an interview with Australian magazine Car Expert, Alpha product chief Daniel Guzafame said that the MC20 actually started life as an Alpha before the switch to the Trident badge was decided. Despite having switched to another manufacturer within FCA, now Stellantis, while this car was under construction, the door was still open for Alfa Romeo to be part of this project again. The new 33 Straydale has strong ties to the MC20, but it's more than just a res conversion of Maserati's flagship model. As well as having a different body, the front and rear suspension are custom made while the front H-frame and rear aluminum frame are also unique. Apart from that, the engines are also different because the 33 straight ale uses the 2.9-liter V6 engine from the Giulia and Stelvio Quattrofoglio, which is upgraded to 3.0-liter, while the MC20 uses the Neituno engine from Maserati which is also a 3.0-liter V6 engine with a pair of turbochargers. The two supercars also use different gearboxes, an 8-speed dual clutch from ZF for the Alpha, while the MC20 has an 8-speed dual clutch developed by Tremec. While the MC20 had spawned a convertible version dubbed the Cielo and several track-only derivatives, this was not the case with the 33 Straydale. Daniel Guzafame says that Alpha will stick to the original plan and build only 33 coupes. About two to three cars will be assembled every month, and customers still have about 12 months left to choose whether they want an ICE or a pure electric powertrain. Alpha Romeo has not yet decided how many electric motors the zero emission 33 straight ale will have, but has not ruled out the possibility of an AWD variant with two electric motors at the rear and one electric motor at the front. The electric variant will be related, to some extent to the MC20 Falgor. All 33 cars planned for production, were sold about a year ago and there will be no extension. That's a little information that we can have, don't forget to subscribe, like comments and share for other latest video updates. Thank you.